So Joe Tryon Shinka had a pretty active 2021 season. JTS would finish the year playing in all 17 games, starting six of those games, and would compile a stat line of 29 tackles, five tackles for loss, 10 quarterback hits, four sacks, and three passes defended while playing 49% of the team's defensive snaps that year. One of the main reasons for that much playing time was because of the injuries that made normal starter Jason Pierre-Paul miss time throughout the season. Now, JTS had an overall solid rookie season, but is now expected to make a big leap in year number two. Pierre Paul remains unsigned in free agency and doesn't look like he's going to return to the team anytime soon, and the Buccaneers have yet to add much in the way of depth at the edge position besides drafting 7th round player Andre Anthony in the most recent 2022 NFL Draft and adding a couple of undrafted free agents here or there. The Bucks seem keen on the idea of relying on Tryon Shoinka to be the starter in year number two, with former fourth round draft pick Anthony Nelson coming in as the third edge rusher. But can JTS be the starter that the Buccaneers need him to be? Well, there certainly is hope for the team, and Tryon Shinka certainly has a lot going for him in regards to being the starter. Drafted with the last pick of the first round in the 2021 NFL Draft, JTS showcased incredible speed, agility, and athleticism leading up to the NFL Draft. During his first season with the Buccaneers, Tryon Shinko was able to showcase these abilities at times, but also showed that there was still some work that needed to be done when playing as an all-around balanced player and playing as a full-time starter. Still, JTS had some great opportunities in his rookie season, learning from players like Jason Pierre-Paul, Shaq Barrett, and Anthony Nelson, while also getting a very good amount of starting opportunities in his rookie season that I believe has JTS ready to be the full-time starter this upcoming season. The most important thing to pay attention to in this situation is the overall effectiveness of Tryon Shoenka's play and if he can be that young star pass rusher the Buccaneers need him to be moving forward. Playing with a pass rusher like Shaq Barrett is certainly going to help, but JTS is also going to have to show that he has improved in a big way from his rookie season going into year number two. Buccaneers co-defensive coordinator Larry Foote said that he is expecting big things from Tryon Shoenka in year number two, and to be honest, I am as well. I think that JTS has the tools, the supporting cast, and now the starting experience from his rookie season to put together an overall good year number two and begin the process of being an effective pass rusher for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for hopefully many, many years to come. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts and opinions about all of this down in the comments section below. What do you think about Joe Tryon, Shoenka, JTS? What do you think about the possibility of him being the full-time starter this upcoming season, replacing Jason Pierre-Paul for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? And how do you think he's going to do? Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. I would love to hear them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.